Time is of the essence, as 2025 is just around the corner. But hopefully, today will get you one step closer to understanding DORA. Let's start with the first key area within DORA, ICT risk management. And the first thing DORA does in this aspect is very simple, yet powerful. Board management is made ultimately responsible and accountable for all the risk management within the organisation. A bold top-down approach that, if you ask us, totally makes sense. At SecForce, we consistently find the most secure organisations across all verticals to be the ones where upper management is actively involved in cyber security and accountable for it. With Dora, these responsibilities will extend all the way from setting security roles within the organisation, budget allocation decisions, understanding the impact of incidents, leading disaster recovery processes, or even the cyber security implications of services delivered by third parties, which we'll come back to later. Another key function of DORA is to define the minimum set of requirements for an entity's own ICT risk management framework. These requirements cover each phase of the risk management process and specify what is needed at each phase. Firstly, on identification, where every entity shall identify, classify and document all ICT-related business functions or assets and their respective associated risk. Then, on protection and prevention, where organisations shall continuously monitor and control those risks through security tools, policies and procedures. On detection, not only meaning detection of incidents, but also conducting periodic assurance tests, such as penetration testing and threat-led red team assessments, while having mechanisms in place to promptly detect anomalous activities on response and recovery, where financial entities shall put in place dedicated and comprehensive business continuity and backup policies. On learning and evolving, expecting organisations to have the capabilities and staff suited to their size, business and risk exposure, to gather information on relevant vulnerabilities and cyber threats. And finally, communication plans enabling a responsible disclosure of ICT-related incidents or major vulnerabilities, both to clients, counterparts and the public. All in all, a series of procedures and mechanisms joined together into a common language and framework for every EU financial entity to comply with. Stay tuned for our next videos on each of Dora's key areas.